When planning and constructing new cities, many different needs must be fulfilled. The society of tomorrow will require solutions that make better use of energy and other resources in order to reduce both our environmental and climate footprints. In addition to sustainable planning of physical structures such as streets, parks and public transportation, the IT infrastructure must be designed to last and develop over time. But in order to reach truly sustainable solutions, we must also provide for social and economic sustainability, or else the proposed solutions risk not being used. In order to handle global challenges in diverse fields like healthcare, transportation and energy, we need to tailor the IT infrastructure to promote collaboration across many different industrial and societal sectors. Not least must the infrastructure allow for active participation of inhabitants living and working in the cities. This is a vital step in supporting the four most important goals for cities of the future. Environmental, climate, social and economic sustainability. When IT for cities is planned for new development or refurbishment today, it is typically done actor by actor or field by field. This creates a mesh of different communication networks of varying kinds with little or no possibilities for collaboration or open competition. Applied to single properties or flats, this implies multiple network connections from different service or technology providers, each serving different purposes, sometimes as many as a dozen different connections to one single apartment. This way of implementing IT services and technology throughout cities results in many negative effects for the climate and for the environment, as well as the economy and society at large. It's clearly an unsustainable approach. It's time to reinvent our cities. Truly smart cities are built on shared infrastructures, even for ICT. Much like a typical road infrastructure is built to carry vehicles of different kinds for varying purposes, an ICT infrastructure should be capable of serving many different actors, providing services and technology for a multitude of reasons. There is a lot to gain from this approach. The most obvious advantages to parallel systems is lowered cost for development, construction, deployment, support and even disposal. But even more important is the innovation climate that the infrastructure enables, where collaboration and competition is stimulated and barriers for new actors to offer services and technology are lowered significantly. This is what we call a smart city. But will not everything be connected in wireless networks in the future? or based on ubiquitous internet technology. Yes, these are surely important components of a future ICT infrastructure, but they are not reducing the need for integration on all system levels. We know what we are talking about. For the last four years, we have worked together with construction companies, the telecom industry, the city of Stockholm and a range of other stakeholders to identify the most important factors for how ICT can assist in crafting a sustainable city district in Stockholm Royal Seaport. If you would like to know more about our efforts and findings, or if you have stories and experiences of your own that may complement our perspectives, please don't hesitate to contact us. We would love to hear from you.